What's going on guys? Dane here and welcome back to Alice of Fiction and uh, walk with me, talk with me real quick, man. I know I dropped this team guide. I said it was the most broken team comp in the game and I meant it. I 100% stand by it. Even as of now, there's a lot of reasons for it. Walk with me, talk with me real quick, man. But before we get into the point of today's video, I just want to show you guys a little bit of my resume before you know before we dive into like getting a team building guide out of me i just want you to see there's nothing for you to be skeptical here don't be like this guy i'm gonna put the comment up top don't be like that guy uh you know broken team wouldn't go that far on the broken team guide you know he said he wouldn't go that far it's not broken you know, or maybe the punctuation's messing up and he means it wouldn't go that far as in like content wise like if you click skip it's going to show you the team that you use to beat everything uh i beat the campaign on normal with this i if i go over to normal uh seven dash three as were hard seven dash three i beat hard with this team and this isn't like uh like it's going to show me my current team every single time if we go over to like one of these older ones i guarantee if i click skip on one of these it's going to be some weird team that i had at like the beginning of the game uh yep see it right here we got two different characters on it so this is 100 percent like this is what i use to beat the campaign this is what i've gone undefeated in arena with so far and if we go over to the event quest this is the funny part and this is the funny part uh this is the uh hard boss right here if i click skip i did use this team this fire team to beat the water hard boss so you know all those people dropping those like hey guys this is the team comp to beat water on hard look i promise you i've been trying to save you guys time this whole time bro and of course like if you want to go over to normal as well um you know i probably use this exact yes i did yes i did um, it beat everything in the game. Every every piece of uh, PVE content has been completed with this team. So that being said, I want to run you guys by how to build a team of your own. Don't be don't don't fall for the for the for the the vocal minority, the the haters that would like you to fall behind because they don't want you to believe moi. You know what I'm saying? This is gonna be a general universal team building guide on how to make a broken comp because i'm not done here this isn't the team i'm going to stick with forever if you know anything about me we're going to be mixing it up left right and center i took a day off yesterday i'm on today who knows what's going to be in these slots but i'll tell you how you can figure out what's going to be in your slots starting with your favorite character now that's going to be my first piece of advice if i was to build a brand new team let's go over to this brand new party pick your favorite character is the first thing I want you to do. Now, Suter was my favorite character is based on her skills and how she looked. I like the street punk thing she got going on for herself. Pick your favorite character first. I know uh, Haley's favorite character right now is this girl right here on top of Vivian. Pick your favorite character first. That's going to be the first priority you're going to bring to a new team from there. Okay, I'll walk back how I put this team together in the first place, but I'm going to talk in general terms. Pick your favorite character, right? Let's say we're starting with Suter. From there, you need to figure out what that person synergizes with, not necessarily just their type. What do they synergize with and what do they fulfill as a role? We know this is a fire attacker. That's all we got to worry about right now. What do they mesh with? Well, we know this person works off of people that apply burn and people that apply oil. Now, she does not apply oil herself, so we need someone that does. We need someone that synergizes with her, so we need someone that's going to apply oil okay no big deal what else does she synergize with what else is she locked into for a perfect comp quote unquote perfect comp well looks like she's gonna boost her own physical attack based on how many fire allies there are so the more fire allies the better with this girl doesn't necessarily mean we need to go crazy and make all four fire allies but the more we have the merrier for her and if there's one or more wood enemy this doesn't matter for our team comp in general so we need a couple of fire allies on the side and we need someone that applies oil well who applies oil right so that's what you're going to look for you're going to look for people that have synergies with them say you go with Haley's favorite character right if we go on over to here we already know we can use with suitor right now like you already know that's kind of how like the team came together suitor works off of more fire allies we have antoinette applies oil to four enemies with her crash skill all right so we already had the oil synergy and another fire character that's chill she also gives a, a, a damage buff to fire ally so i want more fire allies works out completely musashi of course is going to have the uh works better with one or less other attack type ally we do have that here um you want to make sure their passives and their skills have a connection like think of every single uh, skill synergy that requires somebody else to be there 
to perfect consider it like just one point on a web and you need to tie all the webs together all the points need to come together say you're starting with Haley's favorite character here you're gonna look over and see what you got well you got a healer no big deal you got she heals everybody with her crash skill it's kind of overpowered uh remove all defense uh, debuffs on selected allies no big deal doesn't really require a whole lot boost uh, special defense as well doesn't require anything crazy uh yeah, reduce all damage to self she actually synergizes mm, here we go two or more water allies and when there are one or more light allies now this does not say besides herself so you only need one other water character on the team you do need one light ally on the team right so she's gonna go ahead and rock out with this girl right here the web is gonna connect and say okay you need a water you need another water ally and you need another light ally cool i'll pick one water ally to begin with what is my favorite second favorite character right my second favorite option would be this girl right here what does she synergize with well it doesn't look like anything crazy right here two or more debuff allies so i need another debuff ally do i have a light debuff ally and if i don't do i have a light attack ally and do i have another debuff ally that does blend in with all four of them with the strings that i need to attach to make a complete whole puzzled out picture those are things to worry about now you also need to make sure you have some damage but you don't necessarily need to go crazy you can put an attacker on the team if you don't want to i could go double debuffer on this and put a buffer on and still get away with some crazy damage assuming the buffer is doing good work uh there's all kinds of ways to go about it but you want to make sure your passives are lining up i would do your best to get an attacker on your team regardless but if you did something crazy like say you ran with this girl right here right i'm well aware that this girl right here is gonna have a weird three or more debuff ally thing right you're probably gonna want a healer alongside her make sure you have some damaging debuffers on the team you can get away with something like vivian you can get away with something like uh i don't know like you can get away with something like uh where's the where's the the emo girl chilling out you can get away with something like this you know what i'm saying maybe not necessarily without a light character but you understand what i'm saying as far as the debuffers go have some damaging debuffers you don't necessarily need the attacker just make sure they blend make sure you have a lot of damage you want to be very offense focused past just the synergy focus you want a lot of damage on your team or a lot of damage potential or a lot of shutdown potential either one either shut down their damage so you're not taking too much give yourself a lot of defense up gives yourself a lot of uh you want to go one or the other you want to either be turtle strats and very defensive or you want to be highly aggressive for my team right here this team when you're done filling it all out you have the light uh unit on uh you have whatever it blends with it or if you have uh you know another light debuffer on here whatever you got to use probably a light debuffer would be pretty lit uh, do we have a light debuffer just to finish this one out let's go over to light real quick right we do we do we do have a light debuffer we can use her nothing wrong with that um, I don't know what she synergizes with exactly, but this could be like a full team randomly. Hold on. One or more wood enemies actually works fine. Uh, special attack, skill bind. You can run with this girl. Amadeus would be perfect for this comp right here. Uh, this could be a team comp. And you would be on the you'd be on the safe side, I would say. You'd be uh, skill binding people. You'd be doing whatever this girl does. I don't know if this would be a perfect turtle strat or not, but you can play it by ear from there. If you don't like it, you can swap people in and out it's fine right maybe you don't like how locked in you are by this girl right here giving you a three debuffer option maybe you get rid of her and put someone else on maybe you take this girl off because you don't want to work with a is she the one that made us work with a light unit is she the one two or more debuff units maybe we take her off in the first place and use something other than debuff units you can play it from there but you work from your favorite character to your second favorite character to your next favorite choice and then you take off your third favorite choice if it didn't work out your second favorite choice if it didn't work out and you really build around what you like from there you got to worry about gear and make sure you're either very uh, very defensive or very aggressive you want to be one or the other you don't want to blend both because you're going to need the opposing greatness out of your gear now with a very offense focused mind on my team i'm going to make sure i have a very defense focused a uh, set of a uh, set of cards right my world memories right here we have a uh, boost physical defense by nine percent when an attack type has this equip boost physical defense by 12.6 percent when there are four enemies boost physical attack right so this is an attacker it gives me more defense than attack but it gives both which is beautiful this right here uh boost physical attack uh when physical attack is down reduce all damage by 7.2 percent so if they turtled out if i'm going against a turtle combo i'm probably going to see an attack down if I don't, it's fine. I still get the boost on a 
debuff character of all people who is giving everyone a defense up right with her secondary skill so i'm cool with that oh, this one over here is going to be on my single target nuker uh we got a uh, boost physical defense by a lot actually no this is the one that's on right yeah yeah, yeah. reduce damage from special attack types by 16.85 percent plus gives me the crit up but look at the amount of defense on this thing look at the physical defense up look at the hp up on this mess look at the defense up look at the hp on this mess and we go over to here uh this is going to be on my healer right here boost crit resist by four whatever right when a crit resist is actually beautiful no whatever when a defense type has this equipped oh this isn't even the one i was about to use this is for a defense type I, this is a brand new card i was used to only having four or five stars hold on a second that's where the confusion was who special attack by a lot but this is on my healer so that is perfect for me right when a recovery type has this equipped boost the attack perfect for me when hp is above 50 percent boost hp recovery rate this is a defensive turtley card it's gonna give me special attack on my recovery character it's gonna give me hp recovery rate up on my healer you know what i'm saying it's beautiful get your defense on your cards get defense from maybe one or two of your skills right i have a group defense skill on antoinette this is going to boost everybody's defense by a lot but it also boosts their attack by a lot right here boosts physical attack and physical defense by almost the same amount it's a lot and we also have passives that are giving everybody defense ups as well i believe uh whose is it is it actually antoinette's that's giving me a permanent defense up it might be her 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 passive might be doing that right now two more fire fire allies boost physical defense of fire allies times four 538 see what i'm saying the synergies this is something that if i have four fire allies this is fully connected to its max potential build those webs out hold back on your favorite you start with your favorite character build a team around that your second favorite choice or like your next choice for what fits with it your next choice for what fits with both your next fit for what fits with all four and if you don't like what you end up with pull that fourth one off pull that third one off pull that second one off in order until you can really make something blend work out either super aggressive or super defensive doesn't necessarily have to be defense type characters look at what they do use your best discernment i'm going to be building a lot of teams over here so we're going to have a lot to show off a lot of different strategies to show off don't worry about it. you're getting the highest level. you're getting such high level uh methods out of this series we're doing right here that you're gonna be able to clear the entire game with a single comp and not have to worry about those team building guides in this first place this is gonna be more for entertainment more for big brain more for outplaying whoever you see in arena more for easier access once we see harder and harder content dropping this is gonna be for like big brained players or people that want to become a big brain player i'm talking core gamers if you're into that stick around Mm, tell me what you thought about this one right here was it short straight into the point yes it was but it really is that easy to make it pop remember super aggressive super defensive that's how you build your team and you figure it out based on the strings not necessarily the elements hopefully that simplified things a little bit make sure you have damage but you can get away with a full bruise comp without having to worry about some kind of crit nuker comp i just want to make sure that's on the table let me know what you guys thought about it. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and click that like button, man. But you know me only if you really liked it. If you vibe with me, subscribe with me. I got you covered on, what, two to three videos a day on the best hidden gems on the mobile marketplace, hands down. I got the new poker channel starting up today. If you guys are into high stakes games where you're going to watch me play for a ridiculous challenge, uh, go check that challenge over. Link is down below. It's going to be a fun time, a nutty time, all that. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.